conditions. Uh, today we're going to show how to pass again, just like I was doing before, but this time uh, I'm going to do it in a way in which we're going to be dealing with uh, problems presented uh, from the people on the block. Okay? So basically with the lockdown, with underbooks and positions like this, then we're going to go Circling the head, both sides, and circling the arm. Also, both directions, the other arms, moving. Hips. Okay, people. And dropping on the floor. The bridge. You. We're going to escape. Ten times inside. We're gonna go on the turtle position and we're gonna attack step. Also, ten times inside. As I say every time, pay attention that our hips does not touch the floor. As we're doing before, everyone, feet and hands on the floor. I'm gonna remove the right hand, push the left foot, rotate on the foot that I brought on the floor, and do the same thing to the other side. Just to loosen up the hips, okay, people, we're gonna need this rotation, especially when we're dealing with Hepler. Got time to stand, everyone. <coughs> and as usual, rolling over the shoulder, landing on the knees, watch your heads, rolling forward again, same thing to the other side, you can drop on your hips, and roll forward again. Five times each side, back and forth, and we're gonna go to the front of the drills. Okay, people, we're gonna uh, continue with the serial that we were doing before. Situation we're doing it has after. She's gonna have the underhook as well. All right, I'm protecting my back here by having this weezer inside. So the only thing I'm going to do right now is back step. So I'm gonna, at the same time that I grab her head, I'm gonna get the cross face. I'm going to back step all the way to the other side, making sure that I'm on my foot, not on my hip. I wanna keep my pressure on her face. I'm gonna be controlling the knee, the, her knee. I'm gonna free my knee, and I'm gonna step back up, and I'm gonna be in this mounting position. For the sake of the exercise, I'm gonna let Dania push my knee, place her half guard back, and we're doing the same. Start with the weezer, I grab the head, back step, I control her knee, I bring my knee on the floor in front of the hip, I keep pushing her knee down so I can step over, getting back to the mount position. And we're going to be just switching positions like this. She puts me back in the half guard, gets her on the hook. Here, I back step, bring my knee, come back up. We're going to be doing this two minutes on one side, Switch sides. Then it's now doing the same thing on the opposite side. I'm gonna grab the hand, I'm gonna back step over things, free my knee, keep my knee on the floor, step over, and we're just gonna be switching positions like this. Right? <coughs> so same thing we were doing before, two minutes on one side, two minutes on the other side, and then we switch to the person on the bottom, gets on top and does the same. Okay, no need to be fast. We've seen this with more details uh, two classes ago, I guess. Check it out. 
all the explanations there if you guys need it. Jet, we're gonna uh, see this position soon, but I just want you guys to get this movement prior to the position. Okay, let's move to the next one, people. Okay, everyone, well, we're going to do an exercise right now. Uh, basically, it's a situation in which I'm gonna sweep my opponent and then I'm gonna pass my opponent's guard. And the reason why I want you guys to do this, this exercise is because I, wanna, I want you guys to connect both the passing with the sweep because a lot of the times when we sweep from half guard, we end up on our opponent's half guard, all right? And it's very important that when we sweep, we don't stop because we got the sweep, okay? I'm gonna sweep, I'm gonna already connect with a guard pass, and then when I'm on my opponent's side control, I can rest. Okay, so it's going to be pretty much like this. So I'm gonna start here with the underhook. I'm gonna do the sweep that we've done before, in which I'm gonna keep the underhook here strong. I'm gonna control her foot. I'm going to switch my feet so I can bring myself up. And as I come up, then it's gonna place her half guard as well. Before she gets the underhook, I'm already getting my underhook right here. Okay, I'm gonna keep my pressure. I'm gonna keep my shoulder on Daniel's face. From here, I am going to lift my hip, already turning my knees to the opposite side and passing with the knee slice that we saw last week. Okay, from here, I'm gonna let Danny get the underhook on me, get the half guard on me. As she gets the half guard, she's gonna get the sweep. I'm gonna put her in the half guard. She's already getting her underhook here on top. She's not gonna wait for me to get the underhook. She's gonna be first. From here, she's gonna smash the shoulder on my face, lift her hip until the knee is free. She's gonna turn to the knee slice, pass my guard, and now she's on side control. Okay? So in this situation, we get the sweep, and we only stop once we're on the opponent's side, so, my, so the opponent doesn't get a chance to fight. And again, I do the same. I get the sweep, she puts me in the half guard, I'm already with the underhook, I'm gonna lift my hip until the knee is free, I'm gonna pass here with the knee slice, and we're just gonna be switching positions like this. If you guys wanna use a different sweep with a different pass, that's fine, all right? It's up to you. Uh, what I want you guys to start working on is on this idea that you guys are going to sweep already thinking about the pass passing and only when you have the control either side control mount whatever then you guys are going to take your time breathe and continue to work okay that's very important when we're training when we're fighting so we don't let our opponents get the guard back and sweep us back okay so three minutes while they be on top then you guys switch where on the bottom get on top like I said, if you guys want to do a different sweep with a different pass, that's fine. Just make sure you're connected. Okay, let's see today's position. Bro. Before the, the, the last exercise, as she has Daniel pointed out, and she's right, is you guys do that for four minutes overall. Okay, since you're already exchanging sweeps and passes, there's no reason for you guys to exchange three minutes on top and the other one on the bottom. Just do four minutes overall, just switching positions. Okay, sorry. Let's see next, the next position, people. Okay, everyone, so today we're gonna work uh, with a way to fight the lockdown. Uh, we saw the lockdown, I guess it was in the second uh, week of the half guard sweeps and attacks. And now I'm going to show you guys how to deal with uh, the lockdown from the top. So basically, just to remind you guys what we're talking about, let's say that I was here with Dania and I had the underhook. And because I had the underhook, Dania went for the lockdown. So she's gonna step with this leg from the inside. She's gonna hook with the bottom leg and extend her both legs. And as she keeps her legs extended like this, it is very hard for me to move. And I can also not move forward, which gives Dania a lot of freedom with her shoulder. She can start framing, she can start controlling the other leg, and it makes it very difficult for me to pass right here. Okay, so uh, one thing that is important for us, everyone, is that 
I'm not gonna try to pass as long as Dani has this lockdown right here, okay? I don't wanna play her game. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna make sure that I at least keep the underhook. I cannot put pressure because she's using the, 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 the lockdown to keep me away from her, but at least the underhook is gonna be secure. So here, people, I'm going to do uh, step by step, but this requires a little bit of urgency when we try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start turning my hip towards this outside knees right here, and I'm going to drop my foot on the floor like a windshield move. So I'm going to turn my hip and open my foot. Okay. Now that I free my foot, I don't want to go back because if I go back like this, she sets her lockdown again, and I'm back into the same position. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I keep my control, I'm gonna turn my hip towards me, I'm going to windshield uh, my foot away, and as I'm here, I'm gonna turn my body towards her, and I'm gonna bring my heel towards her butt. From here, I'm just gonna cross my elbow under the armpit, and we're gonna be back into the position that we saw yesterday. Okay, and now that I can no longer put me in a lockdown position, I'm gonna be smashing right here, and from here I can work to free my foot. So hip skate, either placing my knee in front of the hip and freeing my foot. If she's keeping my foot trapped, just like we saw yesterday, I get the underhook, I switch to a knee slice, and I pass. All right, the focus here, everyone, is on how to free ourselves from the lockdown. So the movement that I was doing here, everyone, as I had this position, my foot was trapped, I turned my hip to the outside and I windshield my foot like this. As soon as this happened, I turn my hip and I bring my heel towards my opponent's hip so my foot doesn't get trapped once more. Okay, so let me show you one more time here with Daniel. So, I got the underhook here on Dania, everything seems to be good, but Dania puts me in a lockdown. As she puts me in a lockdown, people, as we all know, we're not actually allowed to get out, okay? So we're gonna break the rules a little bit and free our legs. So I cannot put pressure on Dania because I cannot get close to her, but I'm not gonna let her get the underhook, I need it, okay? So. I twist my hip, open my foot. As soon as this happens, I'm gonna turn my hip all the way to the other side. And I'm gonna bring my heel towards her butt right here. Okay, because as long as I do that, she doesn't have access to my foot anymore. Okay, so I was keeping this underhook right here. I'm just gonna switch for the other one so I can be crossed over her body and I can use this head to push the leg, okay? One thing that I wanna add to the positions that we've seen so far from here, everyone, is that a lot of the times, uh, I don't have to do much. As I have this position here, I'm gonna see a lot of the times my opponent trying to bridge to, to try to get a sweep. If, you, if you're in this spot and your opponent tries to bridge, then the foot is free, you can just pull it out and you guys are already gonna be either on the side control or on the mount. Okay, sometimes you guys can use this attempt to get the sweep to escape. Okay, so it's basically the pass is gonna be the same of the previous days that we worked, just adding this, uh, this step before in which we try to break the, 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 the lockdown. So then we get to pass our opponent's guard. Okay, very important for us to keep this in mind, people. If my opponent is controlling me somehow, like Daniel was controlling me with the lockdown, I have to break her control so then I can pass her guard. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a really hard time. Okay, so let's train everyone. Okay, everyone, so from here, we're gonna basically uh, keep the exercise that we've been doing. Situation in which Dan is gonna have the half guard. I'm gonna be on top. I want to pass. She wants to sweep or submit me. I want to pass or submit her as well. If either of us reach reaches our goal, back from the beginning. Okay, three minutes. I want to be on top. 
for me is the other one on the bottom. And we're just gonna be playing here. I don't wanna let Daniel get the underhook. You can play as much as you want, Daniel. Okay, Daniel was smart and she gets to have the knee shield. And I'm just gonna start fighting her here. Starting back, I'm already setting my pass. Doesn't matter how you sweep, doesn't matter how you pass, just make sure you work from that position. Okay, then you guys add some extra rolls, as many as you want. Be careful everyone, have fun, stay healthy, and see you guys tomorrow.